Okay. Wow. You are a piece of work. Charlize Theron is a famous actress, producer, and formerly successful model of South African descent. Over the years of her career, she has managed to become one of the most talented and influential celebrities. In this video, we will take a closer look at the work and personal life of the Hollywood star. How Charlize Theron lives and how much she earns. Shall we begin? Charlize Theron was born on August 7, 1975 in Bononi, South Africa, and was the only child of Gerda and Charles Theron. The girl's parents owned a construction company and kept their own farm. The childhood of the future star was spent in her parents' farm. She loved to play in nature, and her best friend was a goat named Bach. The farm was staffed by native tribesmen who helped Charlize learn around 26 African dialects. I mean, it's very difficult to speak Afrikaans to speak if there's not one person who speaks Afrikaans. In addition to her native language Afrikaans, the star learned English thanks to TV shows. Her mother's side is German and her father's side is French and Dutch, so nature gave her pale skin and European facial features. However, by local standards, the girl was considered ugly. Her peers often teased her and adults sympathetically looked at each other when they saw her. However, there were other reasons for bullying. In early childhood, Charlize had jaundice, which was treated with a huge amount of antibiotics. This led to her having no hair until the age of four, and her front teeth fell out. The girl didn't have a normal set of teeth until she was 11 years old. From the age of six, she did ballet and excelled in it, which led to her admission into the National School of Arts in Johannesburg at the age of 13. In 1991, there was a tragedy in the star's family. Her father, who was an alcoholic and abuser, attacked 15-year-old Charlize and her mother at gunpoint. To protect herself and her daughter, the woman snatched a gun and shot her husband in front of the girl. As a result, the police did not press charges against Gerda because her actions were considered self-defense. At the age of 16, at the insistence of her mother, Charlize took part in a local modeling contest, which she unexpectedly won. Later, she went to an international contest in Italy and, after winning it, was able to sign a lucrative one-year contract with the Milanese Modeling Agency. Theron's stunning looks and 5'10 height were the key to a brilliant catwalk career. For a year, she managed to be at the best fashion shows in Europe, after which she went to New York, where she decided to finally settle down. At the same time, Charlize did not abandon her dream of becoming a ballerina. After her contract ended, she entered the Joffrey Ballet School in New York, and in her spare time, she worked as a model. However, at 19 years old, the star had a severe knee injury, due to which she was forced to give up her dancing career. After that, the girl went to Miami, where she worked for several months as a model. At that time, Charlize was supported by her mother, who actually insisted that her daughter should try her hand in Hollywood. Theron heeded the advice and moved to Los Angeles, where she lived on the money she was sent by her mother. These funds were catastrophically scarce, and the girl went hungry for several months, living in a cheap motel. Moreover, she failed her auditions miserably. Firstly, the accent prevented her from getting the role. Secondly, she deliberately came to the audition ungroomed and casually dressed so that producers would pay attention to her acting skills, not beauty. However, in this way, she only scared them off. Theron managed to win her lucky ticket thanks to an interesting incident. One day, after another failure at the casting, she went to the bank to cash a check sent by her mother, but the teller refused to carry out the operation. Then, already frustrated, the girl caused a terrible scene. At that time, John Crosby, the famous Hollywood agent, was in the bank. He immediately noticed the emotional blonde and offered cooperation. A few days later, the future star was already in acting school, where in addition to acting skills, she learned how to get rid of her accent. In 1995, Theron made her screen debut, appearing in the horror film Children of the Corn 3 Urban Harvest. Although the role wordless in a three-second scene, so her name was not even listed in the credits. In the same year, she was offered the lead role in the erotic film Showgirls. She hesitated for a long time, but still refused to participate in the explicit project. 
and she was right. The film failed at the box office and won seven Golden Raspberry Awards. Such a failure could really bury the career of an aspiring actress. At that time, Theron started dating actor Craig Bierko, who already had a number of roles in the movies and in Broadway productions. In 1996, Charlize played an episodic in the musical comedy That Thing You Do, directed and written by Tom Hanks. In fact, this actor is the idol of Theron. She became enamored with him as a child after watching the film Splash. Then, Theron starred in the crime thriller Two Days in the Valley, where she played the girlfriend of one of the main characters. The film had several fight scenes that the actress struggled to pull off, so during the filming, she accidentally hit Terry Hatcher in the face with her fist. She then treated her colleague to a beer as an apology. In 1997, Charlize starred in the movie Hollywood Confidential, Trial and Error, and The Devil's Advocate. To get a role in the latter, the girl went several times to audition in New York, which cost her a lot of money. Despite the fact that the director considered Theron too beautiful for this role, he still approved of her. In the film, Charlize played the wife of the main character, played by Keanu Reeves, who was losing her mind. If they can hear me, I don't care! I don't like it here, Kevin. These women, my God, I mean, I'm saying things for Christ's sake! To get into the character, she visited a therapist every day for three months. The movie was well-received by critics and brought the actress world fame. In the same year, Theron's romance with Bierko came to an end. According to rumors, the man could not stand the success of his lover, who became more popular than him. After the breakup, Charlize began to date musician Stephen Jenkins. They were madly in love with each other. In 1998, the actress starred in the adventure film Mighty Joe Young, in which she played the protector of the gorilla. Despite the fact that the film failed at the box office, critics praised Theron's acting. Joe, come on. Nothing happened. You're not scared of those people, are you? Yeah, you big guy. Come on, Jeff. For her role, the girl was nominated for a Saturn Award. In the same year, she played a supermodel in the drama Celebrity, Funnily enough, earlier Charlize publicly stated that she would never play models in movies, but the director of the film, Woody Allen, persuaded her to change her decision. Speaking of her modeling career, in 1999, naked pictures of Theron appeared on the cover of the May issue of Playboy. However, they were made a few years earlier before Charlize gained popularity. The girl sued the magazine for publication without her consent, but didn't manage to win the case. In the same year, 1999, the actress starred in the thriller The Astronaut's Wife and in the drama The Cider House Rules. According to the script of the film, her character is caught between two men played by Tobey Maguire and Paul Rudd. Coming with us? That's good. Never know when you're gonna need a doctor. You want to put the top up? Uh, no. Just make it cold. I want some fresh air. Their brilliant performance led to a nomination for a Screen Actors Guild Award as Best Case. In addition, the picture was nominated for seven Oscar nominations, two of which were marked with a win. Then the filmography of the star expanded with the films Reindeer Games, The Yards, Men of Horror, and The Legend of Bagger Vance. In 2001, the actress starred in the action movie 15 minutes, completely for free as a sign of gratitude to director John Hertzfeld for the fact that he had offered her a role in the film Two Days in the Valley early in her career. She also starred in the comedy The Curse of the Jade Scorpion and in the melodrama Sweet November, where she and Keanu Reeves once again starred as lovers. However, in contrast to The Devil's Advocate, the film was a failure. Your intimacy skills have withered away to almost nothing. Left untreated, Nelson could become emotionally extinct. Out of sheer perverse curiosity, how does a lunatic like you help a guy like me? For her role, the actress was nominated for the Golden Raspberry and the award. Even more upsetting for Theron was the fact that for the sake of filming in this movie, she refused to play a major role in the Oscar-winning film Pearl Harbor. Incidentally, at the same period, the girl was considered for the role in the musical Moulin Rouge. But in the end, the directors gave preference to Nicole Kidman. In the same year, Charlize broke up with Stephen Jenkins. Relatives of the actress then sighed with relief because they realized that Theron had chosen a man like her father. The musician also abused alcohol and often caused scandals. Fortunately, the girl found the strength to end the unhealthy relationship. After that, she was rumored to have an affair with George Clooney, but the celebrities did not comment on it in any way. In 2002, the actress appeared in the melodrama Waking Up in Reno and in the action movie Trapped, on the set of which she was seriously injured and was hospitalized. Irish actor Stuart Townsend starred with Charlize in this film, and she began a romantic relationship with him. 
A few years later, the couple announced their engagement and began living together, torn between the United States and Ireland. In 2003, our star appeared in the crime thriller The Italian Job and the biographical drama Monster, where she played a serial killer. She also became one of the producers of the film. In order to better get into the role, the actress has studied in detail the case of the criminal, gained 30 pounds, began to wear contact lenses, and agreed to wear makeup, which made her look uglier. I so help. you've been convicted of a felony? Yeah, but see, that was because I was... That's not going to even matter, because the best you're going to get is factory work. Hey, Todd, but do we even have any factory work? <laughs> Some being... <laughs> Her efforts were not in vain, as Theron won numerous awards, including a Golden Globe and an Oscar, becoming the first South African to win this award. Her payout at the time was $10 million. In fact, after winning the Oscar, the first president of South Africa, Nelson Mandela, invited the actress to her homeland, where he personally thanked her for honoring the country. In 2004, Theron appeared in the movies Head in the Clouds and The Life and Death of Peter Sellers, for her role in which she was nominated for the Golden Globe and several other film awards. The following year, Charlize appeared in the TV series Arrested Development and also starred in the psychological drama North Country. Her character worked in the mines, and preparing for her role, the actress spent a lot of time with the families of female minors. You know, I give a piece of my check to that union just like everyone else. You're up. What do you want me to say? Hey, lovebirds! Want to get to work? Should I dim the lights for you? For her performance in the film, Charlize was nominated for many film awards, including the Oscar and the Golden Globe, and received a total pay of $10 million. Theron also starred in the sci-fi action movie Eon Flux. The shooting involved difficult stunts, as a result of which the girl seriously injured her neck, so they had to suspend work on the film for a month. However, even after that, the actress did not resort to the help of doubles. By the way, her neck injury had affected her for another eight years. Charlize's pay was $10 million. In 2006, the actress voiced one of the characters in the animated series Robot Chicken, and the following year, she starred in the films In the Valley of Hila and Battle in Seattle. During the same period, Theron became a U.S. citizen while retaining her South African citizenship. Then her filmography was enriched by the films Sleepwalking, The Burning Plane, and Hancock. For the latter two, Theron was nominated for a Saturn Award. Gods, angels, different cultures call us by different names. Now, all of a sudden, it's a superhero. In 2009, Charlize took part in the voice acting of the animated film Astro Boy, as well as starring in the drama The Road. The following year, the media learned that Theron and Stuart Townsend broke up, and she was the initiator of this breakup. Then there was talk in the press that the couple separated because of the lack of children, but the actress herself claimed that the feelings between them simply faded. After that, Perrin was rumored to have multiple affairs with colleagues, including Keanu Reeves, Jeremy Renner, Ryan Reynolds, and Alexander Skarsgård, but Charlize herself did not comment on this information. In 2011, the star appeared in the comedy drama Young Adult for her role in which she was nominated for the Golden Globe. The following year, she played the evil queen in Snow White and the Huntsman, for which she was nominated for the Saturn Award. Do you still believe that love conquers all? Maybe not all. Just you. Yeah. Also, Theron starred in the movie Prometheus. The shooting was not easy for the girl. She had to run in the sand wearing 30-pound shoes, and the actress's smoking habit made it almost impossible. By the way, later Charlize was able to get rid of her addiction with the help of hypnosis. In 2012, the celebrity adopted a boy from South Africa named Jackson, whom she raised alone. A year later, she began a wild romance with the scandalous actor Sean Penn. Despite rumors of an engagement, the couple never planned to get married and did not even live together, and by 2015, they broke up without explanation. By the way, the actress's mother did not approve of this union. Immediately after the breakup, Charlize adopted a baby girl named August, and a few years later, the actress admitted that her son Jackson identifies as a transgender girl. Theron accepted the child's choice and now raises her as a daughter. Meanwhile, the actress starred in the comedy A Million Ways to Die in the West, a role in which led her to a nomination for the Golden Raspberry, as well as the thriller Dark Places and the sci-fi action movie Mad Max Fury Road. In the latter, Theron performed the role of Warrior Furiosa, for which she shaved her head. In fact, in one of her interviews, she said that the buzz cut is actually her favorite hairstyle. One of those bikes is yours.
fully loaded. You're more than welcome to come with us. I'll, I'll make my own way. The acting of the star was highly appreciated by critics, and she was awarded the MTV and Saturn Awards. In 2016, Charlize took part in the voiceover of the animated film Kubo and the Two Strings and also starred in the drama The Last Face and the fantasy The Huntsman Winter's War with a fee of $10 million. The following year, she appeared in an episode of the TV series The Orville and also starred in the films The Fate of the Furious and Atomic Blonde, for which she is rumored to have received $13 million. At Berlin Station for 10 years, you've got to know that I'm the only man in this town that can help me get that list. Yes, I've read your file. I've also read your dog file. So let's cut the crap, shall we? The pre-production phase took five years due to funding problems. In order to be physically prepared for the role, Theron worked with eight trainers. As a result, she performed all the stunts in the movies herself. However, in the process, the actress accidentally broke two teeth. In 2018, Charlize starred in the action movie Gringo and the drama Tully for the role in which she had to gain 48 pounds to play a slightly overweight mother. It's be a great night. Drew, Craig, how are you, buddy? It's you, Marlo. On personal hug buffer now. Oh, uh, yeah, just what you've always yeah. wanted. It's actually kind of true. Due to the extra weight, she fell into depression for the first time in her life as she managed to get rid of these pounds only one and a half years later. Nevertheless, for her role in the film, the actress was nominated for the Golden Globe. In 2019, the star voiced a character in the animated film The Addams Family and starred in the film's Long Shot with a fee of $9 million and Bombshell, in which she also acted as a producer. The movie is about several female employees of Fox News Channel who accuse the CEO of harassment. What do you think? I think you're too solicitous. Thank you. But this once, I can handle a straight-up positive. I'm, I'm sorry. Incidentally, the actress herself also had a painful experience when she once did not get a role in a film only because she refused to get intimate, although the name of the offender remained undisclosed. For her role in Bombshell, Charlize was nominated for many awards, including the Oscar and Golden Globe. In 2020, Theron played the leading role in the movie The Old Guard, which earned her a nomination for the Saturn Award. For the participation in the horse racing scene, the actress had to overcome her phobia, which emerged in her childhood when she fell while riding a horse. According to rumors, her pay at the time was $16 million. Then the filmography of our star was enriched by the project's F9. The Addams Family 2, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, The School for Good and Evil, and the series The Boys. At the moment, Theron is still active in cinema. This year, the film Fast X premiered, the shooting of the film The Old Guard 2 has already been completed, and the movie Atomic Blonde 2 has been announced. In recent years, Theron was rumored to have had bling with actors Eric Stone Street, Brad Pitt, and Gabriel Aubrey, but she did not confirm any of them. Recently, the media learned that Theron had an affair with sports magazine model Alex Dmitrievich. However, according to Charlize, she does not believe in eternal love, so she does not plan to ever get married. She once said that she finds it difficult to build relationships with men because of her difficult personality and obsessive-compulsive disorder. Theron confessed that if her things are not clean and tidy, she begins to clean up uncontrollably and she cannot relax at a hotel until she has examined every locker. The actress is also engaged in social activities. She is a UN ambassador for peace and also defends animal rights, opposing the use of natural fur. In addition, Charlize is a staunch feminist. For example, as a producer, she hires as many girls as possible and gets high payments for them. The star devotes special attention to charity. In 2007, she created a foundation aimed at treating African youth from various diseases. Over the years of her career, Charlize has also donated millions of dollars to domestic violence shelters. As of today, the celebrity's fortune is estimated at $170 million, which includes not only royalties, but also advertising contracts. Previously, Theron has appeared in advertisements for Martini, Hotel Capital Grant, Beer Budweiser, and watch brands Breitling and Raymond Wheel. She earned $3 million for the latter. In 2004, she signed an advertising contract with the fashion house Christian Dior. According to various sources, she earns from $2 million to $5 million annually by starring in commercials for this brand. 
The actress owns several properties. In 1998, she bought a mansion in the Hollywood Hills for $1.65 million, after which she bought several more houses nearby. In 2000, Theron purchased a bungalow in Beverly Grove for $1.5 million. The 1,500-square-foot home has two bedrooms, a living room, kitchen, and dining room. The property includes a swimming pool and a guest house. In 2022, the actress put it on sale for $2 million. In 2003, Charlize bought a beach house in Malibu for $3.5 million. The 2,000-square-foot villa includes three bedrooms, three bathrooms, a kitchen, a dining room, several living rooms, and an outdoor terrace. In 2011, the actress sold the property for approximately $7 million. In 2005, she bought a 2,000-square-foot house in West Hollywood. It has four bedrooms, 2.5 bathrooms, a kitchen, and a living room. The property has a pool and a garden. In 2020, Charlize sold it for the same price as she bought it for almost $2 million. In 2007, Theron bought a 2,300-square-foot penthouse in the heart of Hollywood for $2.75 million. But in 2016, she sold this property too. However, this time at a loss of $1 million. In 2022, the actress bought another mansion in Los Angeles in the Studio City neighborhood for $2.6 million. The three-bedroom house has an area of 2,000 square feet. The celebrity owns a collection of cars that includes the BMW 7 Series, BMW X5, Lexus Hybrid, Range Rover, Toyota Prius Hybrid, and Audi S7. Over the years of her career, the star has appeared in dozens of movies and has been honored with the motion picture star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. What's your favorite Charlize Theron movie? I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, great. Okay. If you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything interesting.